Hi folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import timesheet data that you might already have in Excel that kind of looks like this, date, employee name, customer job, hours, class, etc., into QuickBooks Desktop, not QuickBooks Online. If you're using QuickBooks Online, you need to look at a completely different video. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that Excel spreadsheet data to look like a timesheet inside QuickBooks Desktop. Now, once the data is in the timesheet in QuickBooks Desktop, you can run payroll with it. You can create invoices from billable time. There's all sorts of value on getting your data that you already happen to have in Excel, maybe because you do timekeeping with some other time tracking system and Excel or CSV is the only source that you have. That's what this video is gonna be all about. All right, so I'm gonna close the spreadsheet I have open right now. I'll just uh, minimize it and I'll minimize my QuickBooks. And I'm gonna show you, there's a, a template called freetimesheettemplate.iif. That I will put a link in the description so you can download it, it's completely free. It's a template I built for my clients that I just give to them if they wanna build their own uh, import files. It's a little bit more complex than using the macro. I'm gonna show you the macro afterwards. And the macro does have a cost, so you're gonna consider using sort of the super manual way and using the macro as two different options. Again, we wanna save time importing Excel data into, um, into QuickBooks. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, uh, drag and drop this IAF file into Excel. So it opens up and essentially what I have open in Excel is the free sample template that I, I have a link in the description where you can use. Now you can use this template and basically copy the format to then understand how the data needs to be uh, inputted uh, in order for this template to just work. So for now, I'm just gonna delete all the information that's in here between uh, B4, which has the first date, all the way down to billing status, billing status, and I'm gonna clear that out. Okay, and I'm notice that I'm leaving the template, uh, the first three uh, rows as the header, I'm leaving that there, and, I'm, and the first column, I'm leaving that there, I can't mess with that, okay? So now let me go ahead and open up the other spreadsheet, the source, data per se, the one that I got from my timekeeping system or whatever. And then I'm gonna take this information and I'm gonna copy and paste the columns into the template. So for example, let's say I wanna bring in just these uh, two to six here. So I'm gonna copy all the dates, copy and then paste it into the template. Okay, notice that I'm not using any of these rows so I can just delete them completely. I'm just gonna get rid of them. And let's say we got uh, the next one in the, in this one is the job which is a customer job. So I'm gonna take the customer job information, I'm gonna copy and paste it in here. Now one thing that's really important, your customer job, your employee name, your classes need to be identical to QuickBooks. If you miss one letter, one space, one tiny misspelling, it's just not gonna work. So you're gonna to have to go into QuickBooks and make sure that your source data also matches the way QuickBooks is supposed to look. So I'm just gonna take the information that I do have here. So we got here the hours and the hours goes under this column here called duration, and then I have the classes, and that goes here under project, P-R-O-J, that's classes in the template. And there's uh, notes, which I'm not using, and that's it, I'm done copy and pasting from my other spreadsheet into my, uh, into my template. Now I need to make sure that I have a service item and a payroll item in there. It is part of timekeeping. So I need to get that information from QuickBooks. I'm gonna go into QuickBooks here real quick and I'm gonna look at a sample template I already have. I notice that there's a couple of payroll items here. There's one here called installation labor. Maybe I can use that one. So I'm just gonna copy that and bring it into my uh, template. So we're gonna make that installation labor as my payroll item. And I'm gonna copy that down. So again, I didn't have the labor item in my other spreadsheet. So I'm sort of filling it in. Let me look at my service item. Let's say it's this one just called labor. And that's how I'm gonna bring, bring them in, in there. So I'm gonna go into my other spreadsheet and then bring item, paste that, and I'll copy that down. And then just for the heck of it, I'm just gonna put here notes. One, two, three, four, five. Just so when you see the notes, you see those numbers coming in there. And these expert to payroll, I can leave that blank. And billing status, I'm not, if I'm not making them billable, I can leave them blank, but I'm gonna make the first two billable just so you can kind of see. So that's it, I, I mess with the template. Again, this is the same 
free templates, a little bit clunky to work with. I'm going to show you I have a macro template. It's much better than this. But this was the inspiration for my macro template. So I'm just going to click Save uh, and save over it. So that same free template now has the new information. I'm going to come here in QuickBooks and just uh, I'm going to just delete this timesheets altogether. So I have no other timesheets in here. Let me run a report. Go to Reports, Job, Time and Mileage and go to Time by Job Summary. And then I'm going to do all dates and make sure that I have just no more time in here. I'm deleting every single uh, timesheet that's in QuickBooks. That way I'm completely blank and you can see super obvious that the data was imported. So I'm just going to delete whatever timesheets are there now. Again, you never have to do this on your own, deleting timesheets. I'm doing this for the purposes of the video so you understand that, that we're going from absolutely no data to some data. Okay. So I finished deleting all the time data that's in there. There's nothing in my job time detail. Now I'm going to go ahead and import my timesheets. I'm going to go to File, Utilities, Import, IAF File. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click on Import for me. I'll fix it later, whatever that means. But you have to use that. I'm going to click on Import IAF. And they do suggest that you back up your data first because IAF imports are not supported by QuickBooks. So it does screw something up. You're on your own. You should always back up your data. I'm going to click on Open. And it says your data has been imported. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to Reports. I'm going to go to Job, Time, and Mileage. I'm going to click on Job, Time by Job Summary. Do all dates and then show you that the data was imported in there. I can double click on any of these and I can see the individual time entries. I can click on any of them and you can see them. I can also click on employees, go to enter time, use weekly timesheet. And then I'm going to look for that particular employee who was uh, Michael D. And then I'm just going to choose the date that matches that import week. And then you see all the data that came from my spreadsheet into the timesheet. So that works really, really well. Again, you can download that IF file and kind of work it on your own. There's no cost to that. Just download it. But I'm going to show you my macro, which works a lot better. You're really going to like it. And it should be worth the 39 bucks that I charge for it. So let's move on to that. Okay, here's my macro file. It's just a blank macro. It has all the headers here. Date, employee, customer job, time, service item, payroll item, class, memo description, and billable on the billable you put a Y or put nothing. And these fields look exactly what of what, what QuickBooks looks like once you bring in the data from the timesheet. I'm gonna open up my source data. I'm gonna use the same source data I was using before, which is this one that you see here. I'm just gonna put them here side to side. And let's assume that my source data is organized in the same way. Date, employee, customer job, um, hours, that sort of thing. I can take the entire data set and copy and paste it into uh, my macro spreadsheet. You do need to make sure, let me expand this for a second. You do need to make sure still that the employee name matches, that the date has the correct formatting, that the customer job matches. Um, and, you know, so you, that all needs to still, uh, that's all still true. Right, let me go back into my source file. It looks like we have class as well. So I'm just gonna kind of copy and paste the class information into my macro file I'm gonna put it here into a class and then the same thing I need to make sure I have a service item or a payroll item in there so I believe our payroll item name was called uh, installation labor so I'm gonna come in and put that in there I'm gonna do payroll installation item payroll labor bring that in there if I'm not uh, marking these billable I don't have to put a service item so you're not required to use a service item if you're not going to mark them billable. If you are going to mark them billable, let's say, for example, this first one's going to be billable, then I have to have a service item in here. So this service item is called uh, labor. So I'll just bring that one in uh, for billable and put the service item in that. And that's it. So um, then I'm going to click here. It says process IAF file. Uh, the, the macro will do its magic. It'll ask you, hey, where would you like to save this file? So I'm going to put it here in the desktop somewhere. Then I'm gonna click on save. There it is. The file has been saved. Then I go over to QuickBooks. I'm gonna delete what's there now. Let me go to edit, uh, delete timesheet, just so we get rid of whatever it's there now. So it's completely blank. And then I'm gonna go to file, utilities, import, IIF. Click on 
import for me, fix it later. You have to use that one. Click on import IF, same thing. It's recommended that you back up. I'm gonna go select the item, the, the file that I just exported into my desktop. Click on open. My data has been imported. Then I can go and open the timesheet and select the week. And then you'll see all the data that came in in here. Okay, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go in here and download the free template that we just uh, talked about earlier at the beginning of the video or where you can click on add to cart and buy the $39 uh, macro Excel template that I created in Excel that's just a lot friendlier. And in the website itself, you get to see an actual sort of legend of what each column means uh, in comparison to uh, how the, the actual timesheet in QuickBooks so you know what each column is supposed to mean once the data gets imported. Anyway, hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one.